Attitude, 43 degrees. Longitude, 146 degrees. The chart identifies Matsika Island and the Black Witch Rocks, the southernmost Australian light below Tasmania. Visibility of light, 25 miles. Landfall, 1,000 feet above the sea. At seven o'clock in the morning, Glenn Seymour, the third keeper, completes his watch. Three lighthouse keepers with their families live on Matt Syker, and these are the only people on the island. Andy Mitchell, the head keeper, and Len Jackson, the second, begin the first duty of the day, to service the light. Ships at sea rely on lighthouses for their safety. At night the light must always be shown and must flash at the correct intervals. If the light were out, or flashing in wrong order, the point of land or danger would be wrongly identified. Everything must be exact. The mechanism of the light is driven by weights, very like a grandfather clock. It turns the prisms which pass before the lamp and concentrate its light into a series of flashes. By the order of these flashes, ships identify the light. A light flashing at the correct intervals must be exhibited from 15 minutes before dusk until sunrise. The women on Matsyka plan their domestic life to meet the isolation of the island. The supply vessel calls only four times a year and is often delayed for weeks by bad weather. They bake bread, preserve fruit, meat, eggs and make jam. Six months supply of food is always in store for an emergency. <laughs> 